Technetium 99M is an isotope of the element technetium, or Tc. Isotopes of an element all have the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. It is a radioactive tracer isotope, which is extensively used in nuclear medicine. This may not make much sense to you now, however we will come back to this later during the video. Technetium 99M emits gamma rays. Gamma rays are not particles like alpha and beta radiation, but bursts of energy that travel at the speed of light. Unlike alpha and beta particles, gamma rays have a high penetrating power, meaning they can penetrate skin, paper, and even a thin layer of aluminium. However, these rays can only be absorbed by a thick layer of concrete or lead. Technetium 99M is widely used in medicine and the diagnosis of medical conditions. This is because the isotope technetium 99M is used as a radioactive tracer, meaning it is injected into the patient's body as they are circled by a gamma camera. This gamma camera will then detect the injected gamma radiation and interpret it into an image scan, similar to an x-ray, which will then be used to diagnose the medical condition. In order to trace a particular organ in the body, technetium 99M is bonded with a chosen pharmaceutical suitable to the organ being analysed before injected into the body. This will create a radio pharmaceutical which can deposit in certain organs once it has entered the body. As a tracer, technetium 99M is used for all parts of the body such as the heart, brain, liver, kidney and skeleton and even throughout the bloodstream. There are many benefits of using technetium 99M. A major positive impact is the half-life of which technetium 99M obtains. Half-life is simply the length of the time required for half of the isotope to decay. The half-life of technetium 99M is 6 hours, so half of the dose injected into the patient would have decayed over this short time period, which also allows the diagnosis to be safer. This means the isotope eliminates from the body within few hours. Using technetium 99M as a tracer for the purpose of the scan produced by the gamma camera, then the procedure is more efficient and effective compared to the use of an x-ray. The tracer emits only gamma radiation, meaning it is not accompanied by alpha or beta particles, allowing the image scan to be more precise. On the contrary, there are many negative impacts of using this radioisotope. One of these negative impacts includes the supplier for the radioisotope. Considering technetium 99M has a half-life of only 6 hours, by the time a supplier is able to deliver the radioisotope to the hospital, there is a possibility the half-life may have decayed over the travel. Other problems include the price of technetium 99M as it needs to be produced frequently since, since it is in such high demand, and also that it is radioactive so radioactive damage may occur such as killing life cells and radiation sickness. Many benefits of using technetium 99M for medical purposes outweigh the negative. Some of these reasons include that it is an ideal tracer, it is safe to use and also a much faster process than others, such as an x-ray. Technetium 99M is also environmentally friendly compared to other diagnosis procedures such as x-rays. It is used in over 20 million diagnosis procedures annually, meaning thousands of lives are saved worldwide. Thank you for watching.